Hello everybody, Evil Demon Master, and welcome back to another video. So, I'm on Warcraft 3 Reforged, the beta, and there's been a new patch that's been added today on Tuesday. So, I'm going to show you what's been added so far in the patch. So, they have opened the collection, so if you go to the collection, and you get to see all the portraits, which is you get to... Uh, uh, complete after you beat him. So we got the third war. Uh, complete Exodor of the Horde, the Scourge of Lordaeron, Path of the Dam Invasion of Calendar, and Eternity and on Story or Normal. So you have to complete the Pargo campaign, complete the Undead campaign, the Knight of campaign, the Human campaign, and the Orc campaign to uh, unlock this one for the third war, which is uh, this portrait right there. Uh, this one is Mediv. Uh, complete Exodus uh, Ex of the Horde, the Scourge of Lordaeron, Path of the Dam, Invasion of Calendar, and it turns in on Hard. So, you have to complete the same ones on Hard. So the first one, uh, this can be done on uh, the Story or on Normal, so like an easy mode. And then uh, this one, to unlock Mediv, you have to complete on Hard mode to unlock that one. Uh, this one, the Frozen Throne, uh, Complete Tales of the Tides, Curse of the Blood Elves, and Legacy of the Dam on Story or Normal, Complete Central's Campaign, the Alliance Campaign, and the Scourge Campaign, and then the Flitch King, uh, you have to complete this on Hard Mode, and, uh, same thing with the other ones, you have to complete the campaign on Hard Mode if you want to unlock this one. Um, okay, so this one, Wexer, complete the fo the founding of Dorito and still in or normal. So you have to complete the bonus campaign to unlock this one. And this one, you have to complete the campaign again on hard mode if you want to unlock this one. Now, uh, complete the exodus of the horde on story or normal. So complete the chasing visions, the rides on the storm, countdown to expedition, uh, Death Deep Pushers and the Fires Down Below to unlock this one, which is on uh, of uh, the story or normal. And then the Raven, which is me me uh, Mediv. Uh, complete this one on hard mode if you want to unlock that one. And then this one, Prince Arthur's, complete the Scourge of Lordaeron on story or normal. Uh, the Defense of Strathbred. Uh, Ravage of the Plague, March of the Scourge, the Shores of Northwin, Complete Frostmourne, Black Rock and Will, the Call of the Dam, uh, the Calling, and Complete the Sessions. And uh, this one, you have to complete the same thing, but this time you have to do it on hard mode. Um, okay, so this one's the Death Knight Arthas. Uh, complete the Path of the Dam on Story or Normal. Uh, complete Charging. Trudging through the ashes, uh, into the realm of Tono, the fall of Silver Moon, the siege of Dalaran, digging up the dead, key of the three moons, Black Rock and World 2, and under the burning sky. So in this one, same thing, you just gotta do it on hard mode if you wanna unlock this one. Now this one is to complete the invasions of calendar and story mode and story or normal complete uh, landfall. Cry of the War Song, the, uh, the Hunter of the Shadow, uh, the Oracle, the Long March, the Spear of Ashenvale, where, where Wind Riders Dale uh, by Demons Be Driven. And then, same thing with this one, but this one you have to do it on hard if you want to lock that one. And then we're going to Night Elves, uh, Taiwan the Whispering, uh, Complete Eternity's End on Story or Normal. Uh, enemies at the gate, the awkward awakening of Stone Rage, uh, Brothers in Blood, Twilight of the Gods, Daughters of the Moon, the Judge of Arise, a Destiny of Flame and Sorrow. Uh, this one, same thing, just gotta do on hard mode if you wanna complete that one. I mean, to unlock my Uh This one, complete the Terror of the Tides and Story or Normal. Uh, Rise of the Naga, the Tomb of Sargeras, Balancing the Scales, the Wounds of Dalaran, a, a uh, Patching of Ways, 
The Broken Islands, Rest of the Betrayer, Shards of the Alliance, The Brother Stormage. So if you want Medivh, you gotta complete this on normal or story. Uh, Illidan, you have to do on hard to unlock that one. And then Prince Kathos. Uh, Miscommissions, the Dungeons of Dalaran, Gates of Ibsis, uh, Cadian's Command, a Dark Convent, uh, the Swords of Illidan, and Lord of Outland. And then, same thing, but you have to do on hard if you want to lock a uh, Leivash. And then we're going to uh, a new black, uh, the Legacy of the Dam on Story or Normal. Uh, ca King Office, The Dark Lady, Dreadlord's Fall, Into the Shadow of Web Caverns, Ancient uh, to the Upper Kingdom, The Flight from Lordaeron, The Return of Northrend, A New Power in Lordaeron, uh, The Forgotten Ones, A Symmetry of Frost and Flame. And then if you want Savannah's Windrunner, just complete this on hard mode. And then uh, that's all for the campaign. So now we're going to uh, matchmaking. So. If you wanna uh, win, uh, if you wanna unlock the footman portrait, what you need to do is win five games in matchmaking as a human. So I got two, and I need to get to five. So I need like four more to go to get to five. Now this one, if you wanna get the white footman, you need to win 20 games in matchmaking as a human. And if you wanna be a sorceress, win 75 games in matchmaking as a human. And then this one, same thing. You have to win 200 games in matchmaking as a human. This one, you gotta win 500 games as a human. Uh, this one, you have to win uh, 1,000 wins to unlock Mountain King. Uh, five games as an orc, if you want to become an orc for your portrait. Uh, 20 games as a, as an orc for the Headhunters. Uh, Spirit Walker, you have to complete 75 wins and matchmaking as an orc. Uh, same thing, 200 wins as an orc if you want to have the Wind Rider portrait. Uh, 500 games as an orc if you want to win that one. Uh, 1000 wins for the Blade Master. 5 wins as a goal if you want to win 5 games as an undead. Uh, 20 games for the Crypt Fiend for the undead portrait if you need if you want to win that one uh 75 games as a banshee for the undead for uh for uh, matchmaking um fast form you need 200 wins for the undead uh 500 games as the undead for the lord uh 1000 games as a uh, undead and we're going to the night elves you need five games in matchmaking as a night elf, 20 games in matchmaking as a night elf, uh, 75 wins in matchmaking as a night elf, uh, Chimia, you need 200 games for uh, this one to unlock, uh, 500 games as a night elf for Keeper of the Grove, and 1000 games as a night elf uh, if you want to unlock this one. Now you need to win 5 games in matchmaking as random, uh, 20 games in matchmaking as random, 75 games in matchmaking as random, 200 games in matchmaking as random, and uh, 500 games in matchmaking as random. And finally 1000 games in matchmaking as random if you want the Pandaren Brewmaster. And we have 4 of the startup, or uh, you have these four are free. So, Acolytes, this is a starter portrait. Uh, peasant, starter portrait, an orc, I mean a peon, star, uh, starter portrait, and wisp, starter portrait. So, all four of them are like our starter portraits once you first log in. So, they're starting if you want to select them, they're free too. Now, we're going to skins. So, uh, the uh, Ward Shaman Thrall, the Cataclysm walked Azeroth to the core in its wake, Thrall become more than War Chief of the Horde. And then we have this one, Daughter of the Sea, Jaina be will, be will the Daughter of the Sea, Fallen King Arthur, no king rules forever, only death is eternal, Sen uh, Scenarius of the Ever Nightmare, and his dark 
darkest hour, scenarios become blind to the nightmare and influence over him. Uh, Death Knight, I do hope they stay alive long enough for me to introduce myself. And then we got a Demi Hunter. There's nothing left of me but rage and determination. So the skins is like you get to have the okay. So if you pre-ordered um, Spoils of War, you get to have these skins unlocked, and you get to use these skins for matchmaking. So you can like uh, so if you're playing an, an orc, you get to have an, a, a thrall as a hero. If you're playing a human, you get to have Jaina as a as for hero for the humans. If you're playing the undead, you get to choose the uh, Arthas for the undead. Night elves, you get to choose Snarius, and then the undead again, you get to choose a death knight. And then the night elves again, another demon hunter. Well, they think no, these these are already unlocked, so these don't count for sports of war, but these four do though. So you get to select any of them if you want, and uh, if you go all the way to the bottom, it says classic. So I'm guessing they might be adding more stuff to classic or something, so I'm not too sure about that one. But yeah, these are all the collections you get to uh, win games, do campaigns, and if you have spores of war, you can use those. And don't know about classic, but yeah, there you guys go. This is a new collection that's been added to this patch. So if you want to get some wins, start doing them right now and hopefully you get some wins in so you can unlock those portraits. So uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy this video and thanks for watching. See ya! Hello everybody, Evil Demon Master here and thank you very much for watching this video of Warcraft 3 Reforged of the collections and I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and a like and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit and uh, click the bell so you can be notified for more videos to be uploaded on the channel. And uh, make sure you uh, follow me on Twitter at Evil Master and follow me on Facebook at, e at Evil Master and also follow me on Twitch at Evil Master for more live streaming. And make sure you give me more questions. You can put them in the comments below. And you can also put them on my Twitter, Facebook, and also my dis my uh, Discord server as well for a uh, future Q and A video. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna be signing off, and I see you guys next time on the next video. See ya.